Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. Today when I'm playing this game it is Tuesday the 5th of September but the game Impossible Sudoku from the from the LA Times well it was the 3rd of September a day I'll always remember. Do you remember the Temptations? Song Papa was a Rolling Stone. That's the way that song begins, right? It was the third of this third of September day. I'll always remember. That was the day my daddy died. My daddy didn't die on that day, but anyway, uh, apparently in the song, there you go. Um, yeah, great song too. And what a great group, The Temptations. Oh, produced if I remember by Norman Whitfield, a uh, fabulous uh, producer of theirs as well. Um, back to the Tamla Motown that Motown days. Um, in the meantime, what's happening in the world? I see uh, President Lula of Brazil is definitely um, charging full steam ahead, um, trying his best to do things. Apparently a task force has been set up to um, uh, examine the uh, illegally grabbed land uh, of cattle farmers. I mean, f people who are, have illegally grabbed land of indigenous peoples to farm cattle. Um, and... Uh, this is a kind of bit of a gangster type organization, apparently, and stuff like that. So it's very dangerous. But um, good luck to him and his government. Uh, it seems to be doing, uh, trying his best to solve uh, some of the Brazilian problems about the rainforest. OK, let's get on with this impossible Sudoku now. Uh, this is a weekly game. So this w this appeared on Sunday. It comes out every Sunday. And uh, I will be playing with pencil marks because uh, I think it's supposed to be a tough game, so it may well involve pencil marks. So I just put them in from the beginning. I won't bother to uh, uh, try to go very far without pencil marks. Um, but I can see something to begin with. So I can see the three is blocking up like so and a three across there. So I will place a three there and then we have threes going across like so and another one up there. So we'll get a three in that square there. We have seven blocking across this row, this row, and this column. So, yep, a seven definitely goes there. We have eight up here, and eight across these two rows, so Another eight there. We have eight blocking across here and eight up here. So eight in one of these two squares blocking that way. Let's extend this eights row across here and this eight up here. So that's got to be an eight. And we'll go down with the eights like this and across here to get an eight there. Can't take them any further because we're left with eights like that. <clears throat> um, do I see anything else very quickly before I start filling in the pencil marks? Um, Well, I have discovered, okay, we have two blocking across like this and two down here. So we have two in these squares here, right, blocking down and blocking down here. And we also have one blocking down there. So this is a pair of two and one here. Does that mean anything? We've got one, two. Do we know, what do we know? What, what's missing? Uh, five, six, nine. So six is there, nine's there, fives, no, don't know. Okay, uh, so let's put in those candidates now then. Oh, getting 
a message to say that somebody has influenza A. I have no idea what influenza A is. Is that a bad type or not? Um, I shall have to Google it later. Um, but it doesn't sound good. Oh, I just realized we've got fours blocking across here like this and a four down there. Let's place our four there. And we've got fours going up here and up here as well. So let's give ourselves a four there. Then four across here and across here means there's our four. Four down, four up will give us four in that square. Four across here, across here and up there means there's a four um, and fours are out of the way okay uh, six blocks up here so six is in one of these squares here blocking down and six across here and across here like that that means that's a six seven blocks all the way to the top up there so there's our seven seven blocks across here and up there so we'll get seven in that square um, our five blocks across here so that will give me a five there and I can also see that's going to be fives down there missing numbers up here are uh, 6 and 9 um, doo -doo 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 -doo. okay and so these must be 1 and 2 so we've got the 2 blocking here this will be the 2 this will be the 1 and we can finish this block here with a 6 Oh, one number missing here. Let's fill in a uh, one in this location. Uh, six, eight, nine are missing in these three squares. We've got six and nine together, so that has to be an eight. Uh, the eight coming down here and down here and across here will give me an eight in this square here. And the eight, oh no, we've got eight over here. Oh, eight is finished. I'm getting more messages. Okay. Nothing I need to respond to. I can fill in this square here because I know this is one and two down here, right? So this is going to be a nine in this square here. Three blocks this square and three blocks this square. So in this row, that must be the three. five blocks this square here that gives me a five here and that gives me a seven there missing numbers here are two and seven uh, so yeah six nine six nine okay that makes sense We have two blocking across here and we have two all the way down here. So this would be our two. So that's a one, that's a two.
three blocking down here and three blocking down here puts a three into that square and that's the final digit three Uh, missing numbers here are 1 and 7. So missing numbers here are 5 and 9. Uh, yeah, 5, 9 here. That's 5, 9 as well over there. So that makes sense. And the 1s go here. That makes sense as well. Um, so, are we ready to uh, put in some pencil marks now? Because I think uh, we haven't really needed them up to this point, but uh, now we might need some. Um, we've got some... Uh, restrictions pretty a lot of restrictions here so it should be okay so we've got six and nine in those squares up there we've got nines in these squares here and we've got sixes in these squares there uh, we have fives in we've got five blocking down here right so fives are in those oops hit the wrong key again fives are in those squares there um let's uh this was one and seven wasn't it and this was five and nine here okay fives are a pair in those squares nine blocks across here so nines are a pair there and ones are a pair here okay so this shoot is done this is six and nine so the top shoot there is done, the left shoot here is done. Uh, this is done, let's do this. We've got ones blocking down here, so we have a pair of ones there. And the other missing number is what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six blocks down here, so we get sixes in those squares there. Looks like it might be X, Y. Uh, wing this kind of salute this when you see a lot of pairs like this i get the feeling x y wings might come into play uh right we have one blocking down here so we've got ones in those squares there uh what do we know about the twos they go there uh what do we know about the fives they block down here like that and then nine is our last digit, I think, which blocks up here. And so nine is there. Am I right? <clears throat> uh, have I got everything there? One, two, three. Okay, I think all the candidates are in now, so let's see. As I said, this looks like it's the kind of game that might turn out to be. Uh, you, oh, I'll use X, Y wings. Might not, though. Um, ah, is this it? Five nine one nine one five. Is that 
an XY wing? Yes, it is. I, it just had to be, didn't it? So many pairs, right? When you see lots of pairs, like, here's a quick tip if you're a beginner. If you see lots of pairs like this, uh, look for an XY wing. Okay, so how if you if you are new to the game, I'll explain it quickly. So we've got five nine. This is our starting digit, uh, starting pair here. Now one of those digits appears here, which is the nine. Okay, so what we now need is the other digit here, which is the one, to go with the other digit here, which is the five, and that's here. So our starting digit is five. Okay, with the nine here, then the nine here, then the one, and then the one and the five. So what does it mean? It means any square that can see this and this, uh, for example, this one here, right, uh, can have its five removed. Five is the is the is the uh, beginning digit and ending digit. Okay, so this five cannot be true. That must be a nine, and I'm presuming that's going to be enough to finish the game. So let's go on down here like this and do our I of the ors because that's really what it's going to be. Since we've got so many pairs here. It's just going to be either or this or that, right? Yeah. It just, it, it, that was so kind of uh, really uh, leaning in towards that, wasn't it? Because I just think as soon as I saw those, um, so many pairs like that, I thought, well, it's very likely to be X, Y wing. One there, nine in this square here. Let's get rid of those nines to avoid any confusion. Right, we have the five here, so this is our two. And there's our five. And there's here's our two, so there's our seven. And we finish with the two. So again, not very impossible, <laughs> but quite a, a nice game for a newspaper puzzle. Um, so that's it. Thank you very much. Um, and we'll have another one of these next week with a bit of luck. See you around. Bye-bye.